All right, in this video, I am going to talk about Old Town Temecula and some of the hidden gems, some of the things that I personally like to do right here in Old Town Temecula. Stay tuned. All right, we're here in Old Town Temecula. This is one of the spots that tons of people love to go to, whether you're from Temecula or whether you're coming from outside of the area. Old Town is a hot spot, especially on the weekends, uh, or really any time, you're gonna find a lot of people here, but especially on Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights. And we are on the inside of Old Town. The main drag here, Front Street, is behind us. Uh, Front Street is over from where we're at. So I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite things do here in Old Town. Old Town has a little bit of everything. Uh, you've got your antique shops, you've got cigar lounges, you have coffee shops, tons of restaurants and nightlife. Um, but we're gonna go down uh, this street here. Uh, we're on the corner of Mercedes and I believe 4th Street. And we're gonna go take a look at one of my favorite spots here in Old Town. Uh, it is a Cuban spot. I love to get the Cuban food, the coffee. We're gonna go check it out right now. So we're walking down 5th Street. I said 4th Street earlier, we're on 5th Street. And you're gonna find here uh, a couple different types of shops. You've got a spice shop, you don't see that all the time. Specifically carrying spices, salt, peppers, all different types of spices and teas. Really cool shop there. And then you've got a, a We've got a couple different Mexican food spots in Old Town. This is actually a new one. I have not tried it yet, but when I do, I'll give you the full rundown. Uh, as we walk down Fifth Street, you're gonna see the architecture here in Old Town. A lot of the buildings uh, have been here for a long time. Old Town Front Street was kind of the hub of Temecula back in the early days, early 1900s. And a lot of these buildings, they have been restored and uh, kind of brought to more of a modern feel on the inside. But the outside architecturally is, is still got that kind of old town, old school vibe. You've got some brick buildings, some wooden buildings. you got a little bit of a mix of, of everything here. Uh, across the street, you're gonna find an antique, sto uh, antique store. You've got a couple of those in Old Town. Uh, the, they're fading away, I will say this. Back in the day when you would come to Old Town, a lot of what you would see was antique stores. Um, a lot of people would come here for the antique shopping, kind of more of the niche, uh, like, you know, grandma type souvenir type stores. But a lot of that has changed over the years due to the influx of the amount of people that are coming here and the demand for entertainment, the demand for good food, the demand for drinks. It's kind of pushed out some of the mom and pop antique stores, although there are still a few here. So we're right outside of Havana Kitchen and uh, we're going to go take a look. All right, so we are here inside Havana Kitchen right here in Old Town Temecula and I've got a couple of my favorites. They've got a ton of dishes here, but we're going to focus on a couple of them here. And the best thing here, in my opinion, or one of them, uh, is the Sol Latte, which is a salted uh, Cuban coffee latte. Absolutely delicious. You can get it iced or you can get it hot. And then a, a couple other of my favorites, the potato balls are a must try. It's like a lightly breaded potato with meat inside of it with a, a dipping sauce, just absolutely amazing. We've got some empanadas here. And here you can get sandwiches, you can get um, salads. My personal favorite is the breakfast. I've got an Americano scramble here with the rice and the beans. All your favorite Cuban food right in one place, right here in Old Town Temecula. All right, so we're finishing up at Havana Kitchen and we're gonna go take a look at some of the other spots here in Old Town that are favorites of mine. And um, there's just too much of Old Town to cover in one single video, but we're gonna try to cram in just, like I said, a couple of my favorite spots. And as far as when it comes to housing in this area, so you've got a couple apartment buildings uh, that you can rent here if you wanna live in Old Town. And there's about four side streets where you can actually purchase homes as they come up for sale. Residential homes, 
right here off of uh, Front Street. You've got 4th Street, 5th Street, some of these numbered streets where there's little cul-de-sacs. The only downside I would say of buying one of those homes is that the freeway is going to be basically in your backyard. So the plus is you've got all of Old Town walking distance from your house. The bad thing is you've got the freeway in your backyard. So you gotta you got to give and take a little bit there. But on the other side of this kind of ravine here, on the other side of Old Town, there are houses over there as well. Uh, so you kind of get the best of both worlds when it comes to being living close to Old Town, uh, but without having the freeway in your backyard. So we're coming down onto Old Town Front Street here. And again, we're on the corner of Fifth Street and Front Street in Old Town Temecula. And across the way here, you're gonna see a restaurant here called uh, Small Barn, right here on the corner. And this restaurant, Small Barn, is one of my favorites. Uh, it's owned by a um, kind of a famous chef. I'm blanking on his name right now, but excellent, excellent food out of Small Barn. On the corner here, you got Espadin. This is another Mexican food spot that we have here in Old Town Temecula. And then if you look over here, this is kind of a staple Mad Madeline's Grill. It's been here for a long, long time in, uh, in Temecula, Old Town. One of the things that they do here uh, twice a year is they have a uh, rod run. So this whole place will be packed with old and exotic cars, mainly kind of classic cars. And they do this, I think, twice a year is they have the rod run right here in Temecula. And we're going to walk down this way. We can try not to get uh, run over. As, as we walk down here, there's a couple other hot spots that uh, kind of more nightlife spots. You've got a place called Coin Off, which is a bar that has a bunch of old school arcade games and video games right there located inside the bar. And then we're going to go down a little further. You've got, I know I mentioned some antique stores across on the other side of the, uh, the street here. You've got a couple more antique, antique stores. You got a place called uh, Top Spin, which makes some really good pizza. And uh, they've got ping pong in there. So the whole thing is like pizza and ping pong. Uh, the, there's another, at the end of Old Town, there's a really great pizza place. Uh, they also do sandwiches, they do uh, salads. And that place is called Goat and Vine, and that's one of my personal favorites. You've got to check out Goat and Vine. All right, so right now we're passing Coin Off. I talked about that place earlier. You've got, uh, it's like a bar with video games, kind of like an adult, adult arcade, so to speak. And then um, we're coming up right now on 4th Street. A couple more bars over here uh, across the way antique shop coming up and then you've also got uh, where we're coming up on there's a, a, another bar and a cigar shop come up this way there you got two other restaurants up here one is um, uh, actually a beer company called craft brewing company and we're going to do another video at another point where we're going to go to a couple different breweries right here in the area so you can get an idea of uh, you know the different types of beer that are made here in Temecula. Temecula is also known for its wineries so we're going to make another video one featuring the breweries one featuring some of our favorite uh, wineries as well there's over 50 wineries here in the Temecula Valley and uh, that's Old Town kind of in a nutshell there's much too much to get all in one video but you're gonna have to come down here and check it out for yourself and if you do need some help if you have questions about the Temecula Valley if you're looking to purchase a home here or if you just need some more information feel free to hit me up like and subscribe this uh, like and subscribe what am I saying all right so I appreciate you hanging out with us if you found this video helpful Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment below, let us know what else you want to know about Temecula. What do you want to see content wise? We're going to keep bringing you all the real estate stuff, we're going to keep bringing you all the tourism type stuff, but is there something we're missing? Let us know below. We're always here to serve the people, so let us know what else you want to see 
and we'll catch you on the next one.